If you were an immortal being stood in this spot for all of time, you would have watched those develop during the Triassic period after one of the worst extinction events the planet has ever seen. In fact, not one of the worst, the worst. It's what gives this spot its beauty, right? So you can see the older rocks. You can't really see the older rocks because they're covered in vegetation and soil because the density is different, you know what I mean? But the lack of rock, the fact that this is a cliff face proves what I'm saying. It's that one type of rock and then the other type and it, it tells a story geologically. All of these cliffs are made from Hawkesbury sandstone, which developed during the Triassic period after the Permian, which, uh, and the gap between the Permian and the Triassic is one big meteor. Somewhere between 90 and 95% of all species on Earth died. And when I say species, I don't just mean land animals. I mean land animals, marine life, fucking vegetation, bacteria, like, more than 90% of everything died. The meteor impact, obviously, by definition, caused a whole cataclysm of earthly changes. And as you can see here, the like big gaping space where rock isn't, used to be rivers. Big glacial water flows went through. It was the worst extinction event in the history of our planet, worse than the one when the uh, dinosaurs all died. And it was the second worst impact of a meteor, like in our planet's history. The worst one you can see evidence of every single night. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the comments.